G'day, day two here in Japan. I'm still in Asakusa. Today, yesterday I spent quite a lot of money, a lot more than I wanted to. So today we're gonna to do a budget day, 10 US dollars, which at the moment, as I'm recording this middle of October, or end of October actually, 1,460 yen. So we're gonna do a budget day. I'm gonna go downtown. So this budget will include catching two trains. Uh, I think that's gonna take about the 460 yen off me. With transport here in Japan, you've got options. You got the JR Pass. I actually did try to get the JR Pass, but some things with my uh, phone number and stuff like this, I couldn't actually pay for it. Uh, so I didn't get the JR Pass. The JR Pass basically gives you transport all around Japan. This is just in a nutshell. Not, you gotta do a bit of research. And it's 200 USD, 340 Australian, around that much. Um, if you pre-book it and if you pre-book it they can mail it to you and that gives you unlimited transport with, within Japan for seven days that's for seven days you can get 14 days for a month seven days 200 US dollars which is quite a lot but if you're gonna do a chunk of travel Tokyo day trips all this sort of stuff I'm gonna go to Osaka that's my main big trip and I think maybe in hindsight, maybe I wouldn't have paid it off with the amount of travel I'm gonna do. But if you're gonna do a lot, you should maybe get the JR Pass. And then you don't have to worry. It also includes all the Tokyo transport. So what I got is this Suka card, S-U-I-C-A card. It's a bit like the Opal Pass in Australia or the T card in Korea or any sort of major city around the world that's got cards to swipe on, swipe off. Um, I got it at the airport, the same place you can actually, with the JR Pass, you can get it delivered to you anywhere in the world, which is probably a good idea, especially if Japan get, when, not if, when Japan gets crazy busy with tourists again, you don't have to line up once you get off the airplane, so it's one less queue you gotta do. Um, so I got the Suka card, so it's just like a city card. You, it can be used in other cities, but not in between cities, like traveling between cities. And uh, multiples are 1,000 on, so 1,000 yen, 2,000 yen, 3,000 yen. So minimum 1,000 yen. And what I've seen on Google, the train from the train, from the train station to uh, Azakusa was 1,100 yen. So about 11 Australian dollars, about eight, nine US dollars. And so that's probably one of my second biggest expense um, other than going to Osaka. So I'm gonna use that to get around town. So I'm gonna use it twice today, which is gonna cost me about 500 yen. So it'll get us to 1,980 yen more budget to play with. All right, let's go, let's get there. Alright, train done, 272 yen, gone. <laughs> About 30 minutes, very easy. Obviously, masks on the train. Probably be like that for the next year, I reckon. Even in Korea, they're still wearing masks on trains. So make sure you got a mask. Alright, so now in Tochimei. <laughs> I'll write the name of the station. And we're going to start off with a free thing. I'm just got to work out how to do it. And I'll see you there. Can 
just see Mount Fuji, just. It's huge that you can see it from here, even on a non-sunny day. It must be awesome to see. Done, not bad. Uh, I usually find those observatory things, especially when you can't go outside, a bit overrated. I'm not, not a huge fan of those. But that one's free, you can go out. Unfortunately, it's not blue skies today, but you could still see the outline of Mount Fuji, um, see some of the icons, so for free, it's so totally worth it. Uh, I've read there's, there is a south and north tower, but at the moment, they just cut the south tower open and there's some food up there, some souvenirs. So yeah, if you want something to do um, that's free or on maybe a cold day, check out that one. Now I'm gonna sort of, not real plan, but I'm gonna go to the, the park right now. And Juku area, which I believe is mainly for shopping. I did my shopping yesterday, so no more shopping. I'm gonna go to this park and then we're gonna slowly head south to Shibuya, Shibuyu. <laughs> Whatever it's called, I'll show you. Later. Alright, really nice park. One of the reasons I'm not too upset I didn't get the JR pass is for me to come to Japan was very last minute. I had my flight booked from Hanoi to back to Seoul, but then Japan opened up and I quickly changed it. And to changing wasn't a crazy amount. I thought they were going to charge me a lot of money to change my flight, but they didn't. So I got six nights here. So it's a very fast trip to Japan. So I was starting to come out with this, all these outrageous plans for six days, six nights, six nights, seven days. But I think I sort of just come down because I wasn't planning on Japan. So I haven't done a lot of research. So I think I decided that I'm just going to really concentrate on Tokyo and Osaka for two nights and just enjoy these two cities. I may go to a different city on Saturday. There's something I want to see. I have to see if I can get a ticket for it. Um, so that's the only sort of outside trip. I was planning to go to see Mount Fuji and all these other things, quickly planning. But I think I'm gonna come back to Japan. I'm definitely gonna come back to Japan one day and do it properly. So I'm gonna just concentrate on Tokyo and maybe a day trip on Saturday to a very nearby city and then also Osaka. So also I haven't, budgeted for all this trip so this trip is going to probably make me have to work back home in Australia to pay it off um, which is fine I'm going to have to do something in Australia anyway all right let's keep walking I really like this park a lot of greenery I really enjoyed Tokyo so far like there's so many it's huge and so many different places so I'm going to keep heading south to the next destination <laughs>
All right, just coming from Hanoi. I thought the train street is a weird thing to do. <laughs> this is about to be, this is a weirder thing to do, but it's free and it's in my budget. Let's do it. I'm in Shibuya now, crossing street. <laughs> Let's cross the street. in Akihabara, 199 yen train ride from Shibuya, Shibuya. So now I've spent a little bit. I'm gonna find some dinner. Let's have a look all around. It's been a lovely day here in Tokyo. Alright, so there you go. I've done well under my budget. You can do it. It's so cheap. Um, there's so many th things you can do for free. The parks, walking into shops, looking at the lights at night time. Uh, just getting you the feel. Japan's easy to do free stuff with and kill your time. Uh, you can definitely go spend money if that's what you need, but if you've got a budget, um, plan out your train trips. If you've got the JR Pass, you can just smash as many train trips as possible. Um, but yeah, I did $10 US easy today and I had a great day. Three different cities and I saw enough. <laughs> 